guys this is the bong here at the bong channel so in this video we're going to download qbox so it's a simple thing you have to go to your browser and search for these um art server artifact you can just simply go to google and then search for server artifact fab and then you will see this one you just have to click this and you can click this latest recommended but we'll choose this 11.775 so I just download this one and wait for the download to finish and then once it's finished you go to the download location and for me I want to organize it so I have to uh, control x and then we'll put it here then says December server and I'm gonna paste it here, then extract to server. So I'm using a WinRAR here. If you don't have a word WinRAR, you can use 7-zip. If you don't have a 7-zip, then you must download WinRAR. And once it's done, you will see the server files right here. But make sure you run your XAMP control panel and you have to start that my SQL. You can see this one and once that's done uh, of course you have you need to have a Heidi SQL this one if you don't have this one you have like for example um, you just installed the Heidi SQL just have to create new one and let's say 5 am test server there you go then you can open this you will see this one we have this cubicore installed already so that's the that's the requirements that you need so let's close that one because we don't need it so this let's go back to our server and you will see you will find this fx server right here then double click on this one and you just have to wait until it finish loading and there you go it will redirect you to your browser so if you if it doesn't redirect you to the browser then you have to uh, copy this one http and localhost 4120 4120 and you just have to type it here it says this one and then link account so it's it's there 8 uh, 4880 and then link and continue and you just uh, have to create a, a password then there you go and click next and let's say test server testing and click next and since we're using a uh, qbox then we go to the installation documentation of qbox this one so i ha I, I drop a link in the description you can copy that and paste it in your browser once it's done uh, you go to the installation and uh, scroll down below you will see qbox unstable recipe so that's why that's the reason why they are not in that uh there there you cannot find them here by now because they're uh, actually building their uh recipe uh stable one so let's say remote url template you just have to paste it here and click next and you have to choose where you want to download the server file so in here uh, we go to create another folder and it says qbox and go here inside of that qbox folder and right click uh, left click in here and then copy this one and paste uh, change path and paste it here and then save and go to the recipe developer and click next and there you go you need the key master you just have to click this key master right here if you haven't 
uh, created one, you can sign in for the CFX. You can create an account and then click sign in. And there you go. I have a test server right here. So I'm going to click this one. So if you don't have this one, you can create this uh, server. Um, you can create new server and then you, you just have to input your IP. And there we go. This is the key master that we have. So we are going to click the uh, paste it here and run recipe. So that's the simple thing you can do when you're at home hosted. Uh, yeah, but if you have a server like a hosting server, then you need to click that advanced options and click every uh, you just have to input the details that needed in order to run this recipe. So we will forward to finish this. And here we go. Once the download is done, it will be it will pop up right here in the folder uh, resources that you have. So just click next, and then you just have to replace the name right here. So testing server with Qbox community and the project name 5M Core with lid and blue. So by now I'm not gonna change it, so let's save and run the server. And there we go. Uh, we have to open these 5M files right here. And there you go, you will see that there is a connect desktop, something like that. So it means that your server is running correctly. So this is the QBox. Um Qbox is inspired from QB and I think I like it because if uh, I'm actually using ESX before and I don't like the job systems of Qbox I, I mean the ESX that's why I tried Qbox so here we go we we are going to create our server it's inspired with QB but most of the options are related to ESX so the thing that I like in this server is because um, the, the job system is organized so like for example you're going to create an UU job then you can just simply add it in a job uh, script here located in Qbox uh, Qbox core and then data sorry sorry um, Uh, there we go shared so you will see this this one uh, like for example police uh, bcso stop ambulance so it's located in a, in in the same folder i mean same file so unlike you uh, esx you can create something like this it you need to create a script or a different folder for that so that's the only thing that I like on this platform. So I hope that they fix this problem. I mean, um, they develop this Qbox and become uh, one of the most used recipe in TX. So I think that's it for today's video. I hope that you like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can comment down below.